Welcome back. You know, everybody loves trading cards, and it certainly isn't for the gum. Natch. They're a great way to keep a picture without carrying around an old school photo. Now, there's a way to make cards with your own pictures and your own statistics. What we're going to be using is something called Your Trading Cards Maker. I'll get into that in a second. And with that, we've made Call for Help cards. And of course, we haven't made a lot of them, unfortunately, but here's what this is the guy, this guy, this is the guy who takes your calls. Whether you call in with an net doesn't isn't this a guy you can trust? Trust Rich or don't. I can hear him laughing over there. What we did was we got a digital camera, took pictures of the whole gang, and then we loaded the pictures into the software. Again, something called Your Trading Card Maker. It's made by Interactive Software. It's about 30 bucks, and it's not really that hard to use. So let's show you how it's done. We're going to launch the Trading Card Maker. And by the way, we're running it in XP, but it should run on any version of Windows. Now we're going to make a new trading card. Now, we can make different sports cards, which of course is great if, if you're in sports or your kid's in sports. But what we're going to do is make a misc or miscellaneous card. Uh, let's go with uh, this template. looks good. Uh, you really want to make... Oh, I guess that's his mom and dad. And Boy, he's tall. So we're going to use that for the front. And I just I went real quick there. I double-clicked it. But that, I chose the front and the back with the same template. Now, first player, first name. We're going to make one of me because I don't have one yet. Card year 2002. Player last name, P I R I L L O, card title. So I got to come up with a title. What am I? I'm uh, an Ard Bark uh, 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 hand handler. Ard Bark handler. Stat one, uh, uh, words per minute. I type, uh, let's see here, 110 words a minute. Stat title two. Let's see here, what's another stat? Height. Ooh, I, if I can spell it, H-E-I-G-H-T, -E my height is 4 foot 2 inches. Uh, weight is, uh, how much do I weigh now? I think it's 97 pounds. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I wish. I think I'm somewhere around 140. Yeah, I know I hide it. Chris has been uh, winning awards for his ex exemplary... Uh, exemplary abilities. See, I'm making it up as I go along, so it's kind of uh, for handling weird animals. Not to say that the hard bark is weird, mind you. Just that. Never mind. Now, of course, we could also put another uh, set of text in here too. So we say, Chris enjoys walks on the beach, wireless networking and reading comic books about cartoon characters. So now it's time to move on. The stats are done. We'll press continue. It takes it in. Oh, it needs to shorten the text. We'll let it shorten the text, or we could auto-shrink it. No big deal. Now we're ready to go. Still, there we go. Oh, wait, no, I, I know what I have to do. I'm going to let it auto-shrink the text. Now we can input the back photo. Now, I'm going to browse to the desktop where I've got the, the, the back photo is going to be here. I've already set it up for the back. There's a picture of me, and I can go in and I can crop the image so I can make it, uh, I can move the selection horizontally. I can expand it, shrink it, and I can move it with these sliders. It's not exactly the most intuitive, uh, but it is. it does work. I press the crop button. It places it up there. Now I go and get the front photo right there, and it's going to take a while to load because it's, it's a little bigger. But that's okay. As I said, you could use it. This is a picture of me when I was actually in, uh, I think it was Walt Disney World. And uh, I was riding a speeder bike because you know I love Star Wars. Let's get a zoom in on my face. Let's bring it down a bit. And of course, you can take as much time as you want with this and, and do it the way you want it. When I'm done, I press crop. It pulls it in there. Now I'm finished. So it now it processes the car design and it shows me what it's going to look like. Now the caveat is, is that I can print it out, but I can't really tweak it. I can't really have a print preview. This is the closest thing uh, that it will come to. So I'm going to press the print card. Of course, before I do, I can press the save card and always come back to it. And when I print the card, it's going to ask me uh, where I want to print it. I want to go to the properties there and make sure that the quality is set on super high. I press OK because I want it to be good quality. I've got the paper sitting right in the printer. Now, again, the important thing to note here, uh, one of the biggest shortcomings is the paper that you have to use can be expensive. And uh, I'll get to the pricing here in a second. As soon as it goes through the print job, it's getting it sent through the printer, and it'll take a while again because it's a lot of colors that are going through. And when you're done, like I said, 
you'll have cards that you can trade. And the cool thing is, is it'll come out. We've got another picture of Roger. This is Roger's card again. And you'll see he's upside down here, or he's right side up here, and then upside down there. That's because what you do when you're ready to put the card together is you simply, let me flip it over and show you. There, you can barely see it, but there's a sticker back right there. What I'm going to do is get ready to, to fold it on the perforation here, just to get it ready. So I've got it folded on the perforation. Now I'm going to peel off the sticker part of it. Now I've got to be very careful because again, you know, I, if I mess this up, as I said, these sheets can be expensive. It's about, uh, I'd say about 20 bucks per 10 sheets. So it's not exactly something that you'd want to do uh, or take very lightly. Oh yeah, finally, now you're going. Now I've got the Roger Chang card ready to go. And again, as I said, it's, it's all perforated. So all I have to do is fold and pop out and look at that. I've got a ready-made Roger Chang card. And as a matter of fact, you know what I think we'll do? For today's quiz winner, not only will we send you a t-shirt, but we'll also send you the Roger Chang rookie card. Now, as I said before, be careful about the way this is printed out, because if you mess this up, those sheets can be expensive. You want to make sure it looks okay on the screen. And even, even this Roger Chang card was not perfect. You see there was a little white on the top. But you know what? Hey, what do you expect? This stuff you can do on your own computer. It was actually fun to do. It would be good to do. It would make one heck of a Christmas card, wouldn't you say? You know, a trading card for your family. And if you want to know more about making your own trading cards, head over to our website. The address is at techtv.com slash call for help.